It's so impractical. You do, and you whip your hair. Is there a total pose? What's up, super fans? It is Fit Nerd from Superheroes Ultimate. Welcome to another episode of Heroes Finest, where we discuss, review, and reveal all the latest and the greatest in the superhero realm. And today, we're going to be discussing Black Widow. Finally, after seventy thousand years, we finally got the movie released, both in Disney Plus and you can go to the movie theater to watch it. Which I do highly recommend you watch it at the theater instead. It's a much better experience. Since her debut in Iron Man 2, where we saw Natasha Romanoff working as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. I gotta admit, this movie felt like I was watching Captain America The Winter Soldier. So I gotta admit, with the action, um, the characters, the villains, uh, the villains kind of bother me a little bit, but the action scenes were actually really damn dope. And we got a whole origin story towards Black Widow, finally. We get to know everything about the Red Room, what happened in Budapest, 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 Bud Bud Budapest, the Buda place. You and I remember Budapest very differently. That Hawkeye and Black Widow keep on discussing about throughout the movies, we finally find out that it was Hawkeye that helped Black Widow to take down the Red Room. But they were not fully successful. Now, while I was filming this, I was looking up information on how it was doing in the box office, and it is breaking all of the records as far as movies making a comeback after the pandemic era. Now, one of the main things that I do want to tackle is when this movie took place, and it took place directly after the events that happened in Captain America Civil War and before the events of Avengers Infinity War. And then there's the end credit, which also ties into current events. So this movie is literally tying in a bunch of different timelines for Black Widow. And it looks like they really are just ending the whole era of this Black Widow. Now, it's fair to say that Alexi, the Red Guardian, David Harper, did steal this show for a lot of the moments in this movie. I really loved him as the Red Guardian and I really, they could actually just spin off an entire show on the dynamic on Melina, Alexi, and Yelena working with all the other Widows and Taskmaster. You remember when I told you that one day we would have that big adventure? Today's the day. And I love the fact that in the prison scene, somebody brought up the fact that he fought against Captain America, which was taking place in the 80s. Now, this time, Steve Rogers was actually frozen, but it may actually be a true story because thanks to Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we found out that there are many other super soldiers around the world, including Alexei himself, which is the Russian version of the super soldier. But it could be possible that the Red Guardian faced off against one of the other Captain Americas like Isaiah Bradley. As we saw, there were more than one Captain America that took over the mantle over the 70 years that Captain America was frozen. Now, as far as the villains go, which is the boss of the entire Red Room project, Dracoff, he is the most evil villain I have seen yet in the MCU, even more than Thanos, due to the fact that of what he does and what the entire project entails. <laughs> How are you controlling me? But there is a pheromonal lock. Smelling my pheromones that prevents you from committing violence against me. Which is forcing young orphan girls to go through this extreme type of training. And we go through all the details as to why Natasha Romanoff can't have any kids. As we saw in Avengers Age of Ultron, we saw the discussion between Bruce Banner and Natasha Romanoff due to the procedure from the Red Room to make them more efficient assassins. I can't have this. Kids, do the math, I physically can't. Neither can I. Now, although Natasha Romanoff and Yelena were not actually blood-related sisters, they were for a brief time lived together and were raised as sisters. And the only real father that they've actually had was the Red Guardian. It was real to me. It was a great way of introducing Yelena as the successor to the Black Widow for the Avengers, because from the looks of it, as we saw in the end credit scene, tying in from what we saw with US agent in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Valentina has been recruiting a team of her own. Now, this is a great tie-in into the Hawkeye series, 
and pointing out what the Hawkeye show is going to entail, which is Hawkeye being targeted by Yelena. As I've said in so many videos, this is only another Easter egg to how they're going to tie in the Young Avengers eventually. And Yelena is the perfect next successor of the Black Widow to be part of the Young Avengers. My only one pet peeve was, of course, Taskmaster, which they changed the origin story. They changed how his powers work. They changed up the character in a way that fits better with the storyline here. With the female version of this character renamed Antonia Drakoff. In the comics, Taskmaster was Tony Masters, which possesses photographic reflexes that allow him to mimic any fighting style at the cost of his long and short-term memory. He can immediately copy other skills just by seeing it one time, making him a very difficult adversary to characters like Captain America, Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Wolverine, just to name a few. Even though at the end of the film, they did leave it in a way where Antonia quite possibly able to become a good guy and help out S.H.I.E.L.D. or even train other agents like in the comics, it may also be possible that she ends up working with Valentina and teaching all of the villains, which are technically heroes, but they don't know that they're working for Madame Hydra. Now was this film worth the wait and does it make sense it does tie in a lot of the things within the phase five projects that are coming up in the mcu and it is a proper send-off to our character of natasha romanoff black widow and passing on the mantle to her younger sister yelena i definitely put it up in the scales with captain america winter soldier because it, it just like captain america winter soldier which had a lot of jason bourne feel to it this movie had that exact feel to it too and it kind of shows that it's gonna go into that direction with the hawkeye show as well so i can't wait to see hawkeye i can't wait to see elena again and wouldn't you guys want to see a red guardian series Why? i would absolutely love to see red guardian versus the u.s agents as always super fans if you guys enjoyed what you saw here today just smash the subscribe button give us a like turn on the notifications and if you want to show some support for our channel and everything that we do in the nerd realm you can get some of our official merch and other apparel and collectibles i placed the links in the description below until next super fans this is fit nerd over and out